camera today and I think I'm ready in love. It's a wide angle. Yay! I'm so excited to bring you guys. Allison and I are in Bryant Park right now. We're gonna go get hand rolls. Say hey. But, um, but it's pouring. So we actually got a birthday gift earlier at Sandy Lang and I went to a pop-up. Right now it's very chill. I actually really like walking around Bryant Park because just from with like middle-aged older people and it's chill. Nothing crazy, like no surprises versus in other places of New York. How's your day? Good, now that I'm with you. Period. We got some pictures. That's what I thought. Girl Did time. I? Isn't that perfect for us? Because we're always eating. It's literally for, so good. It's for our food adventures. Isn't that it's so good? Yeah, you get it. <laughs> no. I'm sold. I feel like you always get influenced. I'm sold. I'm sold. They're so nice. They sent us Toro Sashimi. And they gave us like this little kit and there's like all the sauces. So you can just like do your own. They have mandu and they have pho here, like a mini pho. Also, the a Michelin star chef opened this place. It's kind of a smart concept. Yeah, that was really good. Really good. But well, you never say that to, to me? Yeah. We just got a breakdown. If you come here, it's not Japanese, it's very Korean inspired, so there's no vinegar rice. It's sesame oil rice. As I was saying when I was eating it, he just confirmed it and it's with pickled daikon. And yeah, it's yummy. He has really good it. palate. I could not taste that. You can okay. taste the sesame oil? Maybe I put too much sauce. <laughs> I couldn't taste it. All I just tasted was you can wasabi taste the sesame oil. Sauce. So it's like more kimbap style, but it's really good. But yes, it was yummy. Just made it to the white elephant. I'm so excited for them to open my gift. put everything away now. I'm getting some laundry sorted. I have the most adorable hamper that I got that fits perfectly in my bathroom. It's actually from Amazon. I don't know if it'd be helpful for me to link it, but it's just so functional and clean. Season's changing, so I need to switch up things in my closet. I just have like random PR and like other PR that's disorganized and I just need to really get it sorted. Also on my dining table, I just don't even know where to start because there's, th these are all things I just opened these past few days from packages. Last night, I changed my sheets to these really adorable ones from Urban. They're so cute. I also got this new side table 
they actually sent it to me which is so amazing because it fits so much and i'm so excited for you guys to see the room renovations because i'm getting a new lamp that's just like a makeshift lamp that i got off amazon right when i moved in because i have no light bulb i also want to mention that i got a new dresser it's so cute i ordered it back in july and it didn't come until october because it was back ordered but it's it's pretty much my dream dresser and I'm wearing a crop top under. I made two locks of broths and I used the paste, the toothpaste, the whole can of coconut milk, added some fish balls, and then tomorrow I'm going to add my protein such as shrimp. And I also used aromatics, shallots, and garlic. I didn't have ginger. This is what we made and it actually tasted really good. This is just some curry and it's just like the easiest thing ever. So I, I like didn't pay attention to it so like some of the veggies are charred but I don't mind at all. That concludes my Sunday night prep and then I'm gonna add bean sprouts and all my veggies tomorrow so I'm super excited because I love my vegetables. Yes, for what? In case anyone wants to hike. I know and how sad for them. The feeling sensation of getting lost in a blizzard of freezing to death in the woods. I had it at your house yesterday didn't I? Right. Stare at it. Okay. Everywhere's just a mess up. Teach? What are you doing here? I live here. What are you doing here? I was on my way back from Stanford. My car decided to stop.
smells like dookie. We're gonna go to Papa Bagels now. Oh, hey there. Hey. Okay. I think we should do everything that we saw. Wonderful, I agree. <laughs> you agree. Okay, then maybe no, I still fine. do it. We got the the salts, the everything, and the papa seed bagel. And she gave us a truffle she butter. She gave us a smear for free. It's been getting super dark lately in New York. It gets dark at like four now. And I'm having a super late lunch because I was so full from the bagels. But we're gonna eat the meal prepped laksa, which I'm super excited about. And I have all my fresh veggies. I also got some chicken. I wanna try making like a lemongrass chicken inspired marinated protein with my laksa, which should be really delicious, so. I'm excited to do some cooking. I'm in the middle of cleaning my apartment and I'm just like coming to terms with the things that I'm learning about myself living alone. I feel like when you live alone, you really have to face everything that you've either been lectured on as a kid and you've completely ignored or habits that you haven't changed. And I think one of my huge habits is hoarding because it's hard for me to let go of things that I feel like have sentimental value. So right now, my space is just so cluttered because I just don't know what to get rid of and I don't know how to clean. I hate, 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 hate a disgusting kitchen and bathroom because those are just like the most sanitary places. You're putting things in your mouth and you're releasing things from your body. That's something that I really, really value living alone now. This is like already prepped and I cut the chop these things up and then this is what I'm going to use for my chicken marinade. Um, I'm going to boil this into the laksa. I like the texture of these more than I like rice noodles actually so I'm going to put this into my laksa. With these two you don't have to soak them before so I'm just going to go straight to boiling. boiling and it smells delicious so I'm just gonna turn it down Like an absolute train wreck because I just got off the plane. But this is like the coziest plane outfit I've ever worn in my life. I didn't even get to mention that I actually have to be at a birthday party in one hour. It's Allison's birthday, so I came back. Real homies put in the effort, so I flew my ass back just to come celebrate with her because I know she's been having a rough winter here. 
I'm so excited. Her mom is cooking, so it's a little bit of home at her home. Hey guys. I just took my quote unquote everything shower. I think that's what the kids call it these days and it felt amazing. A shower post flight? Really be hit indifferent. What's gonna hit next is doing some skincare because I just feel like my skin looks really dull and dry. on the back because it's like looks like he's holding a present and she loves they love this character so cute <laughs> happy birthday